what's happening today? A breakfast fits for my king. Wow. I have an interview at the Canadian Embassy. It's a visa interview. The last time we had this conversation, I said I am not ready to move to Canada. It's not you. It's me. Sign. And if I don't? I'll go without you. to see me. Sir, my husband won't sign the document. He's adamant. He won't go to Canada. I don't have to remind you the importance of your assignment to our national interests. We have everything in place except you. Then I don't have a choice than to go with the children alone so that I can figure out... Are you dictating to the agency how to run her operations? Your cover is happy Nigerian family living in Canada. Use all means necessary to get your husband on board. Fine. So that means I can tell him where I work, what I do. <laughs> Agent 464. That would be most unfortunate for your career. What I'm about to say to you is off records. If you repeat it anywhere, I will deny you. Fighting your husband is not good strategy. A man wants to be in charge, but when a woman presses the right buttons, <laughs> he becomes butter in her hands. My husband isn't treating me well. He literally dictates everything that happens in the house. How the home is run, how we raise our kids. I mean, sometimes even my dress is too tight to this or to that. I have to fight back so that my voice can be heard. There are more ways to winning than fighting. Make peace. Negotiate. Negotiate. Negotiate! Show him you love and honor him. Seek help from someone he respects and listens to. Never give up on your spouse. And don't sacrifice your home for any job, company or assignment. No home is perfect. Don't make the same mistakes I made, Agent 464. Oh, see, my love. Oti Bobo. And who made this food for you? Come on. Are you giving me that face? Is it because of what happened this morning? Smile for me now, Oti. Smile. You know. <laughs> Look, I have something to show you. Trust me. It will make you smile. Just wait. Oti, smile for me now. Sister Laba. Oti, you didn't tell me your sister was coming. Ah, I came home when I heard that some people are traveling to Canada. So, I came to take care of my brother and his children. <laughs> There's food in the kitchen, but please, don't touch the knitting soup, please. Where's the garden egg?
And what is going on here? Who is this? And what is she doing in my kitchen? Calm down. I brought her with me. She's the new housekeeper. She'll be taking care of the house when someone is gone to Canada. <laughs> oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Sister Mabel. Oh, good evening, good evening. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'm perfect. Yes, yes. Oh, you know you mentioned to me the other time that you would love to visit? I have good news for you. It's the perfect time for you to come. Yes, and don't come alone. Come with your husband and your children. Yes, 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 please. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yes, please remember to tell um, Cousin Jude, um, Chanto, Oshim, and even Bella. Let them all come. I have enough space to accommodate them. Everything is okay. I'm fine. I just, you know, I just want to, I just want to have you guys around. Yes, yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, don't worry about that. As soon as we end this call, I will send you transport fare. Yes, Sister Mabel. Thank you so much. I look forward to having you guys. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Bye. Is the whole village coming over? Yes. Let the game begin. Ah, <laughs> uh, sister! <laughs>